the moment we have our portfolio about and contact really close to each other. And the reason for that is if we look again at our index.html, they're just text elements and then this space in between them isn't there. We kind of want to push them away from each other. But how much? Well, if we look again back at our Figma file, if we go to our portfolio inside our navigation and go inside our contact about and portfolio, and I can see there's a gap if I press option or alt and see there's a 32 pixel gap between each one on the left. Now, the reason why it's on the left again is if I go back to my grid and just show it, this aligns to this corner and it's just pushing each one over by 30 pixels. This one isn't pushed to the right, it's pushed over to the left. So what I wanna do is add a gap on the left-hand side of each one to push it over a little bit more. Now, what we'll do is we'll add something called a margin that pushes things away from each other. Now, if you look in the code in our CSS already, you might spot margin up here. We're gonna talk about that one in a minute. But what we're gonna do is in our A tag is we're gonna push them apart a little bit more. So underneath here, we're gonna add in a new one called margin. So we're going to write margin and then a colon and a semicolon will appear. And what I like to do, this is personal preference, we can do margin left, which is another CSS style. What I want to do is go around clockwise from the top, right, bottom, left. So top, right, bottom, left. How much margin is on the top? Well, from here, there isn't anything on the top. On the right, there isn't anything there. On the bottom, there isn't anything there. It's only on the left. Now, I'm gonna just do this for the links. Notice this purple box popping up. This is what I'm really gonna focus on. So I just wanna push them over on the left. So on the top, there's zero, space. On the right, there's zero, space. On the bottom, there's zero, space. On the left, there's 32. But what unit? Well, it's pixels, we're working with the browser. So I need to write the word PX, no space, just 32 PX. So what I'll see now is if I go back to my project, we'll see this gap of 32 appear between each one. It adds some space between them now. So what I can also do as part of this is add some kind of transitions. I can add some movement as part of this as well if I wanted to. So just to show you what I mean by that, let's say on hover, I wanna increase this margin may not work very well just because it looks a little bit ugly on hover. So let's just add this in. Let's say I want to increase this margin on the left. So margin on hover is gonna be zero, 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 64 PX. We'll double this one up here just on hover. So what I'll see now is just on hover, this margin is going to increase. So now what I'll see if I hover here, is it'll switch back and forth and it'll move each ones around as well. Now, if I kind of do it here, notice it kind of starts to flick a little bit and that's because it's kind of flicking between the two. How do we add some movement in? So what I can also do by default on my A tag is underneath here, I can add some transitions in. So a transition can go on any of these things, color, text decoration, margin. I wanna change the margin, margin, space, over how long? Well, I wanna do this over one S, one second. So now what will happen when I hover on the A tag, it will go to this, but the transition will be here by default. So when I hover off the A tag, it will also transition back the other way. So now it will move like this, which is pretty cool. Now, again, if I kind of have this in space, you know, you kind of see it flicking between the two. Now, obviously I don't want to change the margin. I actually want to change the color in the end. So the transition, I'm going to change from margin to color. I want to change this color from this white color to this one. I'm going to get rid of this margin because it kind of sucks, but we'll have it in there anyway. So what we've got now is color, text decoration and margin and the transition. And the only thing that changes on color is uh, the only thing that changes on hover is the color. So what we'll see now is if I change this, it will fade into pink each time. There we go. Now it might feel a little bit too slow. So what we're gonna do is just increase this from one second to 0 0.3, let's say. We'll try that out, see how that looks. There we go, it feels a little bit more natural now. So what we've done is added in both a hover state, we've moved things apart with margin and also added the transition in here. Now the next thing I'm gonna talk about is margin on a bigger scale. How do we set up the layouts of this page that look like this? 